2K has completely ruined everything in my team from locker codes, free players, free agendas, all-star weekend. And if you guys are like me and you want to see them do better, then like the video right now. And let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about everything that 2K has been doing lately. Because maybe your opinion might be different than mine. Or maybe you agree with everything that I'm about to say. Because look at this right here, guys. They're dropping VC-only packs. They're dropping players that are only available in packs. And we literally went from like a pretty good month of 2K with free pink diamonds, free players free agendas to now this and i just don't understand it because they added the player market right in order to make other cards accessible and look at this no 100 overall player kareem you know there's no galaxy opals available in the player market so what was the point of getting rid of the auction house at this point they got to bring it back because they're making it where at this point you can only get these players by gambling and risking it and basically just wasting your money on these packs which by the way the odds aren't even that great i mean look at this less than two percent at a galaxy opal and the 100 overall could be like 0.01 percent for all we know they don't even disclose everything and every Everybody has been complaining and their answer was to drop this right here 200,000 BC equal chance galaxy opal pack for obviously an equal chance at every single galaxy opal starter for all-star weekend and not everybody can afford to open packs bro that's why I do my own giveaways if you guys saw the previous videos I've been uploading I'm doing giveaways for the equal chance packs I wish I could give everybody a free galaxy opal the only person that can do that is literally 2k themselves but they choose not to they would rather charge the community $50 200,000 BC instead of giving us a free Galaxy Opal or a way to earn it by playing the game. You can't even earn these players by playing the game anymore because they're not in the player market. They're only in the packs. And I was telling everybody to save their MT, save everything because I figured 2K was going to add all these players to the player markets and no they didn't like i just don't understand it bro if they got rid of the auction house to make more cards accessible then why are they only in packs in previous 2ks you know i will say you know everybody was able to get the players from packs but if you didn't get them from packs you can go into the auction house and either snipe them you can just buy them through there and stuff like that but now with no auction house with only the player market the only option you have right now if you were to want to get kareem the 100 overall which by the way they completely just skipped a dark matter they just went from ping diamonds to galaxy opals and then 100 overall which is wild because you can see that 2k just wants our money and it drives me crazy because at the moment i'm on my no money spend account right and and I've been collecting like the free players. You know, they gave us a free ping diamond Luca. They gave us free ping diamonds here and there. And it was looking like 2K was actually doing a great job this year because I don't know about you guys, but I was enjoying everything that 2K was adding before they completely just did a whole, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know what they're thinking at this point. And beat right here was free. Like people were actually enjoying the game and being able to go into the game and get players that were actually good and are still good at this point. For example, I'm so trying to finish this agenda on my no money spend accounts for the chats you know they started off the year you know the new year 2024 with a free ping diamond chats which at the moment you guys can see i'm still trying to get slowly but surely trying to get him and it just doesn't make sense how did we go from actually having a good time in my team to now making it where it's pay to win now obviously 2k has always been pay to win they always want to make their money but they were actually doing a pretty good job we were able to get free ping diamonds you know they have this collection that was available through the agendas as well so i get it 2k wants to make their money right but they were already making their money and also releasing you know all-star players for free which i actually did enjoy the free players even though they weren't anything too crazy especially now looking back at it actually with 100 overalls coming and galaxy opals they definitely could have made the free players a lot better but you can get a free ping diamond from this too this is still available you know they do have the free equal chance ping diamond pack but this one you do need to get you know certain players even though you can pick up the series players and so it just drives me crazy that 2k could actually add stuff like this but then when it comes to the best players they're putting it behind packs only and it's literally that's the only way you can't you know buy it in the player market you can't snipe it you can't buy it in the auction house because it's gone and so 2k literally went from you know these free ping diamonds you know they were doing a pretty good job like i said bro you know they had ping diamonds in every single game mode literally every single one a ping diamond that people could earn by playing the game and this is why it drives me crazy because how did we go from all this 
to just completely like why 2k and i'm gonna tell you right now i am scared to see what 2k is gonna do next because now that we have 100 overall you know kareem in the game and galaxy opals like are they just gonna keep doing this are they gonna add these players to the player market eventually i want to say they will but actually they might not even do it because if you guys remember everything happened when they dropped this set right here like everything started going down here when they ended up releasing this set with yao ming they completely ruined yao ming by the way which still drives me crazy how they gave Yao Ming a 25 speed a 43 pointer and then literally a week later they drop a 100 overall player in Galaxy Opals and so they disrespected Yao Ming we should have known after Yao Ming we should have known that 2k was up to some cheese and then speaking of some cheese Michael Beasley right here was guaranteed in the pack market for BC but you cannot get him for MT and so now that this collection is done you would think that they added Michael Beasley into the player market right and look, I'm pressing X. Well, you can't see my controller, but I'm pressing X and you can't buy him. You know why? Because he's not in the player market. If you were to search him right now, he's not in the player market right now. And so that means that 2K might not even add the Galaxy Opals to the player market. There's the Amethyst one right here, but you can't get the Pink Diamond. That was only available through packs. And so that just leads me to believe that Kareem is only going to be available for the people that want to spend money. And I understand that 2K needs to make their money for their shareholders and stuff like that. Like, I totally understand that, but that still doesn't mean that they have to, you know, screw us over like this. Like, why is it only through packs that we we can get the best players and even if you spend money you're not even guaranteed to get them that's what's even crazier you have an equal chance not even an option pack you don't get to decide which galaxy opal you literally spend 50 bucks for an equal chance at all the players so if you are though getting somebody like lillard then you just played yourself you know what i mean like it just doesn't make any sense why 2k just completely wanted to ruin everything and so they were doing that with these players in the player market if people you know saved their mt they were excited to buy the galaxy opal for say like 300k 250k mt and no they didn't even add them to the player market bro they ended up adding every single player so far this year in the player markets but as soon as they started with the chinese lunar new year stuff they just completely screwed us and it's crazy too because they even gave us the inferno set for free like you could actually earn it for free on my no money spend account i was able to get carolinko right here for free and so it's just so crazy how we went from a whole collection being free to now having to pay for this and it's all-star weekend everybody was excited to play with new galaxy opals new players and if you don't have money you can't even play with that like it's just i don't understand it 2k add a locker code bro why can't we just get a locker code that everybody can type in for a guaranteed deluxe pack they didn't even add deluxe packs by the way in these packs these are just regular packs they're priced as deluxe packs twenty one thousand mt but you're not even guaranteed a ping diamond so why can't we just get a locker code that just gives us a guaranteed ping diamond or higher as a locker code for everybody and then make the winners that 2k has been adding as like a locker code too or add them to the agendas you know there's literally a whole section for nba all-stars and instead they just want to give us base packs with less than two percent odds for everything we do have the free equal you know chance ping diamond player which at least is something but still like 2k could do better and i'm not the only one that feels this way because 2k even tweeted out they're like drop a 100 if you're hyped for 100 overall career i'm doja bar like come on get out of here 2k i even tweeted at them i'm like why isn't he in the player markets you remove the auction house to make cards more accessible and now you're making cards packs only and you can even see that more people agreed with my tweet than they did with 2k's tweets like that's just crazy Crazy. that goes to show you that 2k went from giving us a free ping diamond luca a free ping diamond joel Embiid, you know a free ping diamond chef for playing the game you know free all-star player right here with other players that we could get we were getting you know a free ping diamond tyrese with the app right there even though there was issues but then we went to this valentine's day it's just crazy they did drop this logic code literally just give us a deluxe all-star pack and i think people would be at least a little happier and then of course the jeremy lynn was a w locker code in my opinion and then even just a couple 2Ks ago, they gave us a Galaxy Opal Kyrie locker code for free for everybody. But right now, though, 2K just ruined everything. The player market ruined. The pack market ruined. Agendas ruined. Locker codes ruined. Everything has been ruined. And I'm really hoping that 2K sees all the feedback and they do better. I'll keep you updated. But in the meantime, check out the giveaway I'm doing as well as the other videos I've been uploading. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.